Welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the Sansui AT15S audio timer from about 1980. Look at that clock. What's it flashing zero? Have you ever seen a clock that does that before? Uh -uh. That's because this is a 24 hour clock. You know, it's uh, designed to turn your stereo system or whatever you have plugged into this thing into an alarm clock. And you set it just like any other clock. You know, you have a fast forward and a fast, actually this one has a fast reverse. I can go backwards, I can go slow. I can set the time. Interesting, it's, the seconds aren't displayed, but you can press that button and, it, and you just sort of imagine the time sliding to the left and, and showing the, you the seconds. So it's 23, 28, and uh, so many seconds. Why do you think you'd use this? Um... I don't know. Well, you know, you might want to record a program. Like say something's coming on, a ball game or a concert, and you're not at home. Anyway, I know what you're thinking is, you don't need a timer. Why does this component even exist? You can just use one of these things. It's like five bucks at the local hardware store. But the problem is that's designed to live down behind your stereo cabinet by an outlet. This thing is actually a, a component that's designed to be part of your day-to-day -day use. It's got two outlets and handles up to 700 watts and will actually work in multiple voltages. Here in the U.S. we're 120 volts, 60 hertz. It's designed to work with components that have physical power switches and mechanical stuff. So like our Pioneer CTF650 has a mechanical timer switch, which will tell the tape deck to come on when power is applied. This tape deck has computer controls, but most manufacturers include a timer switch that says, hey, when I come on, either record or play. Now this thing on the right, notice when I go from on to auto, it keeps the outlet on, which is a nice feature. So you're not, you know, if you want to set things up and you're playing your stereo, you don't have to turn it off. Here's an ad, couldn't find much about this. This is from Pacific Islands Monthly in April, 1980. And you can see it came as part of these super compo, I guess that's component systems back then. Uh, so part of that stack. They also offered a the AT15L, which was a rack mount model. So here's a demo of it uh, turning on your entire system. What do you think is going to happen when we hit 1945 or 745? Turntable comes on, the tape deck starts playing, the receiver comes on, so you could use that to you know, record a program or, or just wake up with music in the morning. Oh, You can also use it as a sleep timer. So this CD player, which we had in another video from the 90s, actually has a remote, but it still has a physical power switch, and it comes on and, and starts playing, which is interesting. But So it just shut it off after the sleep timer ran out. So you, you, know, you want to listen to your music at night, go to sleep, put on the sleep timer, and then when you turn it back on, the CD player will kick off and start playing again. And one other use for this is, you know, if, you're, if you've got an older... Then Dad tried to hack it. Yes, we're going to go over the hack in a second. Another use for this is to save wear and tear on a power switch. If you may remember this uh, CTF650, the power switch is stuck on, so I can use this, switch, this timer as a power switch. One thing that was wrong with this we got on eBay is occasionally the, uh, the little buttons were sticking down. And you had to kind of, like that one just stuck in time set mode, and you had to kind of just thump on them to get them to come loose. So we're going to take it apart and fix that. Yeah, we're going to see if this thing can be hacked to have a uh, uh, 12 AM PM display instead of the 24 hour time display. Anyway, so if you look at the service manual online uh, for the this model, there's a chip on there that controls the clock. And if you look at the schematic in the service manual, you see pin 38 actually has a 12 or 24 hour select switch and pin 40 and pin 1 are both wired to AM and PM on the display. So. It seems odd that they would include all this stuff and not give you the option to switch to a 12 hour clock. So we're gonna take it apart and see if it's possible to hack this. So there's a there's a blue piece of tape on the left side of this clock, which is odd. Uh, there's the glue, that's the reason the buttons are sticking. We're gonna clean up that glue and fix that problem. Later. Yeah. If you look at this, let's take off this blue piece of tape here. Look what's behind the blue piece of tape. AM and PM. So it's like they man manufactured this with AM PM capability and then they just hit it with a piece of tape. So there's pin 38, and it does have something going to it, and it is tied to the ground. So I was able to measure that it's going to the ground. So we're able to do this. Yeah, I'll show you what happens. So, so what I did was I just ended up using a screwdriver to kind of scratch away this uh, trace, which created the you know conductivity between that pin to the ground. So let's plug it back in and see what happens. So I just did this. Do you think it's going to work? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Hey, come on. It actually appears to work. Well, you remember before it with the 24 hour mode, it starts at zero and uh, it starts at 12. That's good, you know? So it seems to have worked. But then when I start going through trying to set the time, I suddenly realize it doesn't work because internally in the display, it's not wired up correctly. Uh, when I get, see, look, to the left of 
of that, instead of lighting up the AM and PM, it's lit up, you know, some other piece of that digit. And so I the think the, the chip handles it, but it's not wired into the uh, other uh, part uh, correctly. And to get into this would require taking uh, that clock off, which is about 40 pins. So I'm not going to do that. So ended up just putting it all back together and just being satisfied with the 24 hour clock mode for now. So at least we tried to hack it. But yep. it? That's about it. Anything else you want to add? See you next time for another video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.